Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we're in a bit of a chill period here not necessarily because of like provincial unrest or needing manpower or anything like that it's more because we have a lot of aggressive expansion with these guys up here that's most of the reason so we can look at like Melindy here 48 that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be 65 with Ajuron is a big deal Agadeen is happy with us of course Can we vassalize them? I think we could diplo vassalize Ogadine. That's an interesting option. There's also Waleda over here. Okay, they have a lot of reasons not to do this, mostly distance between borders. Same with Hadia and Shua. So I think Ogadine is really the only option here. We will look to ally Ogadine. That immediately bumps us up to 137. So let's take forward a little bit here, and we're going to start working on improving relations with them. So that'll happen right now. And then we'll be able to diplo vassalize these guys and get ourselves a little bit more power in this region without getting aggressive expansion. So that's very important, right? I also want to work during this chill period on getting institutions. We're like... 3,500-ish away. So we have about 10% of what we'd need. It sounds good to me. We've got a lot of overextension right now. But I think this is reasonably fine. Knowledge sharing from Marahan. Actually, there are vassals. Maybe we should have. Maybe we should have. If they offer again, we'll try it. We also do need to improve relations with them, but we're already working on it. Cool. That looks good. Benin wants a... Oh, royal marriage from Ogadine. Yes, we absolutely accept that. So we're at 171 with them right now. That's huge. We just need to bring this up a bit. We need to hit 190 before we can do this. We lost our explorer. Where's our exploration fleet located? Here it is. Okay, it's on its way back. We're going to need to get a new leader, but for the time being, we'll just let it come back. It's uh, got a long ways to go, so that's okay. There are a couple of cores here that we want to get going. We'll get those done. Do we want to grab a new idea group here? Yes, actually. Do we go for quantity, quality, offensive? All of them are good. All of them are really, really good. And ultimately, yes, we want all of those. I usually end up going for quantity at the beginning because I value the manpower recovery speed. Our manpower recovery is already decent. That supply limit modifier is very nice as well. And the land force limit is nice. That said, we get a land force limit modifier from offensive ideas as well. That gives us discipline, that gives us siege ability, and that makes our land leaders better. So what that would end up doing for us is either offensive ideas or, quant or quality ideas would mean that we're better off in our matchups with Europe, right? Because we're going to have a tech disadvantage. That's just a guarantee based on our position. At the same time, I, I think we go for quality here. I think we have enough quantity for the moment. We'll probably take quantity later, but I think we take quality here. And we immediately grab this infantry combat ability. There we go. And that also got us miltech cost reduction. That's nice. And yearly army tradition and navy tradition. Sounds good to me. We'll take that as well. Keep in mind we're currently... Are we ahead of time on our miltech right now? I don't think so. No, we just really need to get some institutions. Like, very desperately. Accommodation with natives. Sounds good. Okay. I do want to root out a little bit of corruption right now. There we go. Now, that's not going to get us negative until we get this coring done. Not this coring. 
Discord. There we go. That's fine. That's understood. We're saving up our cash at this moment. These guys should be drilling. So get to drill in there. Okay, we got this self-sustaining. Now everything up here is safe from Europe. So we need to come over this direction. There we go. We're going to head to Cameroon. We'll take Siege ability. Thank you very much. And we're not going to attack Kilwa for a while here. Wagadougou is preparing to attack Jeanne. Okay, whatever. I, I don't care. We can definitely core this. And we find ourselves slightly over our governing cap. Okay, that's interesting to note. Let's go ahead and seize land. Since we can do that right now. And then let's get clergy some land rights. Uh, is that already granted? Oh, we can't revoke it. Yeah, it is already granted. Uh, us over here, right? Okay, just wanted to double check that. In that case... Oh, we lost a military leader? That's sad. Well, we can roll up another one. It's no big deal. There we go. In that case, we could think about... Things. <laughs> That's non-specific, I know. I completely lost my train of thought. Fantastic. So we're losing a little bit of inflation right now. We have no war exhaustion. Our stability is zero. Oh, right. Governing cap. That's what we were thinking about. We could potentially grab this. And we do that for right now. That just makes it so that we're no longer over our cap. For the moment, anyway. We'll get the monthly autonomy change. Very. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and look at our states map mode. We need to make more states. This will bring us over our governing cap. Apparently we can't do this. I guess we just don't have enough of the state. Or no, it's not cord. I'm dumb. <laughs> it needs to be cord. A royal marriage offer from Marahan. We accept that. Beautiful. So Agadine over here is more than enough to be vassalized. There we go. So they are now our vassals as well. We can't really get out to Hadia. Or can we? Or can we? Offer them an alliance. We pull back this guy. So we're now allied with Hadia. Assuming they accept... Yeah, they accepted it. We're allied with H Hadia here. We would like to be this with all of these, right? Now, this is going to be potentially a lot of vassals. But we offer an alliance here. And then Shua as well. There we go. So we're allied to everyone that we released over here. A knowledge sharing offer from Waleda. We accept that. Beautiful. Okay. So we're currently working in Marahan. We'll pull out of there. We don't need to have this come up anymore for the moment. And in Waleda, we can actually offer them vassalization soon. And they won't accept it. Because they're a kingdom. Interesting. We may have to get rid of that later. For the moment, we're going to need to improve these relations. And in Shua as well, we'll improve those relations. Cool. So that's all looking good. How's our overextension doing? It's going to drop very shortly. Excellent. So that's going to be a big deal, right? Dropping our overextension is going to be absolutely huge. And we're saving up our, our pennies at this point until we can get ourselves these institutions. So currently, Renaissance would cost us $1,500. That is our current goal. That'll be fine. There's all of those cores finishing up. Beautiful. We can make states and... I believe we're going to need to go over our governing cap here if we want to make additional states, which we do, actually. We want to make these into states. Uh, this is not cored yet, so we'll have to come back on that one. I, I don't mind going up over our governing cap. Actually, this didn't bring us over our governing cap. Fast. Oh, no, it did. Just needed to update. So this gives us like a 1% malice, right? It's not that big of a deal. Okay. We could even bump up our administration again. Uh, do we have additional... Let's see. Empowering the burgers. I'm just checking to see if there's any additional governing cap down here. 
Not in this one. I think that's down here, right? Yeah, that's down there. So, I don't like spending the government reform progress like this when there's still government reforms to be done. But I would rather not have that malice. So, we'll be at 740. That's okay. No real problem there. Now, we do need to get ourselves Diptech 12 when we can. Kill on Separatists have spawned. I actually didn't expect those. We are going to let them be for the moment, and we'll let these guys recover a bit. It'll be fine. No big deal. We'll get some Separatism there. That'll teach me for not paying attention. Moravian and Mutapin Separatists as well, huh? Okay. We'll stop these guys from drilling, move them into Senna. Cool. We'll now walk in over here. We can actually grab a, an ability here. Institution spread is great. Prestige per development from missionary. Oh, okay, whatever. Merc discipline. Resistance to reformation. Nothing great there, in my opinion. Okay. Now we want to let our admin tech catch up. That's for sure. Cool. So these guys can move up over towards Lomway. And we lost our leader here. Remarkable. Okay, we'll put him in. Wow, that's a six maneuver leader. He's a very speedy boy indeed. Okay, those Matopin Separatists have spawned. No problem. So that's over, and we'll head back to Quellamane. And then we will enable our army drilling. We lost our diplomat there. Okay, that's probably not the end of the world. Global tariffs, 9.71 monthly. We probably can't afford that at this exact moment. I'm going to go for the plus one guy. I don't love it, but it'll be fine. Okay. Knowledge sharing has been terminated. There's no further knowledge to share. That's interesting. I definitely would expect additional knowledge, but okay, whatever. 16 gold per month. Sounds great. And this province is now cord. So we can make that into a state, and so we shall. And it'll need to be full cord, of course. There we go. No problem. Man, I want to spend this gold so badly. We just can't, though. <laughs> we really, really can't. So that's okay. Are we working on conversions? Yes, we are. But this is not actually going anywhere. So we should cancel that and come down here instead, where we'll actually make progress. Beautiful. So, how are things going up over this direction? We'll recall that diplomat. We want to head over here. This is Hadia. Okay, we're still working on that. It was Shua, and they're at minus 66. So, distance between borders. Fair enough. We're going to need to get these distances between our borders reduced, right? That's definitely a thing. But Hadia is only minus one. Austria's the new emperor, whatever. Um, I'm just looking at these malices here. Can we get that up? Like, hypothetically, if we offer the military access... That moves up their opinion of us, yes. But it doesn't move up our vassalization offer. Interesting. If we could get this, I think that would open up these guys at that point. Which would be huge. We'll keep this as status quo for the time being. We're probably going to be able to do something. Let's go ahead and just pop these guys, to be honest. The Moravian Separatists? Yeah, they're going to be right here. Get out of here. Great projects can be upgraded. So, this is a lot of gold. We're not going to do this right now. We need that gold for other things. There's another one, Makuan Separatists, down over here. Okay, that looks fine. We'll move right on down to Makua. We can now grab Diptech 12, which we will do. Beautiful. Okay. We just lost our master recruiter now. What else do we have here? We're going to go for morale of armies as the cheapest option for the moment. And I do want to pop this. We'll provoke this revolt. 
We lost our natural scientists too. Wow, we've lost literally all of our advisors. That's insane. None of these are actually good. Sad. Okay, we're going to move down over here and resume our drill. There we go. And we're now at about a thousand gold. So what do we need for our institution? 1480 now. Well, it's improving. And we're getting closer to this number. For colonialism, this is spreading nicely. So this number will drop while we work towards it as well. We could think about taking loans to get there faster. Is it worthwhile? Probably not. Our colony out here just became self-sustaining. Okay. So from here, we'll go colonize up here if we can. Yep, there we go. And then there's just, just this one remaining location. Okay, looks good. So there's very little left that we can colonize on the coast, right? Marahan Particularist, I doubt that's really going to be too big of a deal. Yes, already handled. No problem whatsoever there. And we can definitely core that. Okay, there we go. Perfect. We just need more cash at this point. That is a big thing that we need. Hmm. We can lower our fleet maintenance. That'll help. And checking in up over here. Checking in up over here. I want to see real quick. I don't think... Oh, they would accept their vassalization offer now. Beautiful. So does that mean that we're close enough to these guys now? Six reasons away. And 28. Okay. We definitely need to work our way up this, right? But this is all wasteland over here. So that's noted. For sure. Now we're going to get our institution soon here. And this will be a very, very big deal. Price of space is going up by 50%. Okay. Have fun with that, Portugal. And we're going to hit 1,300 gold here. We need 1,400. So we're like six months away from getting Renaissance now. Now it's 1577. That's kind of late for Renaissance. I'm not going to lie. Colonialism and printing press, has, has that spawned yet? Yes, it has. But it's not spread anywhere near this way. Local settler increase is good. So Renaissance will be done shortly here. A dull rival dust. Hilarious. A mercantilism or national unrest and manpower recovery speed. Honestly, we'll take the mercantilism. Sounds good to me. Okay. All we need now is one more month tick. Actually, two? Two. Two more month ticks. Dubious spending practices. That's no good. Arrest him. Now, that's our diplomatic advisor. We're not going to hire a new one until after we get this. Gain of corruption? I don't like that. Okay. So, we embrace this. Beautiful. Construction and development cost down by 5%. But the bigger deal here, of course, is that we can go up to Admin Tech 11, which gives us access to textile manufactories. And eventually, we're going to be able to hit Admin Tech 12 here. Now, we are focusing admin power here. I would like to get... It's going to have to be this one. I don't love it, but there we go. We do need a rival. And it's going to be Tunis. Okay. Sure. That'll do for now. And now we work towards colonialism. Beautiful. But just getting Renaissance is a huge boon for us technologically. These techs are much cheaper now. We should still be working on quality ideas. There's no doubt about that. Cavalry combat ability is fine. Ship durability is a little irrelevant for right now. We'll go ahead and grab that. And soon, we will no longer be in a malice for dip tech. Now, printing press is a long ways away from us. Ooh, we'll gain both of those. Thank you. 
Printing press is a long ways away for us, right? It'll be a while. But that's okay. Colonialism will be here very shortly. We lost a general. Did we just lose two generals? No, I don't think we did. Cameroon became self-sustaining. Beautiful. And at this point, we're going to try to head over here and grab that. Not that I necessarily think we'll get it. Russia is planning to attack Novgorod. Hilarious. Oh, we can core. Do it. Beautiful. So when are we going to go back to war? Incredibly soon is the answer. I want to check in up over here. Oh, we need to get our other leader back too. Uh, that was this leader? Sure. Okay, get to drilling. Fantastic. So I want to check up over here real quick on Waleda. Minus three reasons. I'm going to go back to improving relations with them. Shua's minus 25 reasons. Mostly not the same religious group, but it's still primarily... Shua is an empire level level realm? Okay. Um, sure. We're a kingdom level realm. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know how they're an empire level realm, but okay. So we're going to bank up our cash here again. And we're working towards getting our next institution. So that's going to be colonialism, of course. By the time we get there, it's probably going to be similarly priced to what uh, Renaissance was. So it should be okay. I'd rather lose prestige than military power, honestly. I wouldn't mind attacking Kilwa soon. Malindi is at 27. Ajuron is kind of the big one here at 44. Indeed. Kilwa doesn't have any allies. You know what? Let's finish off Kilwa. So we're going to prepare for that. These guys are black flagged. That's okay. We're going to declare war here soon. We don't need more than just these two armies. I think we can very safely take over Kilwa here. Lundian Separatists out over here. We will undrill and head up this way. That's not a big concern. We knew that was coming eventually. And I want this to go in on 1 February. Okay, 2 February. Good enough. We'll give this another month tick here. And then we'll go in. Okay. So we are going... Oh, we're, we're truced with them. I thought our truce was up. Hang on. Another six years. Okay, we're going to pivot. And we're going to attack Melindy instead. Except they're allied with Ajuron. That actually gives us a good angle here. A very good angle. Okay. For the moment, I'm going to send these guys back to drilling. But this is a good angle to attack Ajuron and work our way up here. We'll take these guys back to drilling for the moment. What is our force limit right now? 89. Okay. Bare minimum here. We can get, what, 17 additional cannons? So that's four per army here. Just doubling our number of cannon. I like it. Yes, that's costing us money, and that's money that's not going to go into getting our institution for right now. But that's okay. We can grab an expansion idea here. We're still better off grabbing Admin Tech 12 at this point. And we're going to keep drilling here until such a time as our cannon are done building. Which will be a little while, but not tremendously long. And then we'll prepare for this war. Declining power of the Mani. I want to check in here. 43, huh? Interesting. So, revoking this would reduce their influence by 10%. We're not quite there yet. Before we do this, we should seize land. 
Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm always going to prioritize seizing land. Okay, so we're going to move up over this direction towards Shamba. And these guys are going to start moving up towards Shamba-ish as well. Like to Veda, actually. There we go. So we're going to head up over there. We're preparing for this war with Melindy. We are waiting for additional constructions over here, though. And they'll take a little while. So that's fine. It is about time to put a cut in here, though. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to go back to war. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. We lost another general. Wow. Okay. We'll deal with that eventually. And uh, a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Kazaral, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Kentogen, Spartan News, Nix Marty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Unisil, Kadra, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.